just a minute, Jeff Seeley is going to come up here, CEO of Crew International. He's been with Crew. He's got a, had a 20-year connection with them in various levels. But more importantly than that, or I think equally important, he spent a number of years with Hillenbrand, where he was an executive VP of a $1.4 billion division. So when you talk to somebody who knows where they're coming from, he knows because he sat in that seat. Crew International, a leading sales training and leadership development company. You know, as he comes on up, come on up here, and here's what I want, I want to share, because Ori, you, you, you kind of rock people's lives here. And I'm going to share with you, I was tracking with you on some of those things, and I was not tracking with you on some of those things, because here's the way I look at sales. Every morning I get to wake up and influence and impact people. Isn't that cool? We get to influence and impact people. My objective each day is to influence them in a positive manner. And if I can do that, it's been a great day. And that's what Jeff's going to do right now. He's going to impact us. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? I uh, mentioned I'm with uh, Crew International. I'm actually the owner of it. been the owner for almost 23 years now. And I kind of want to start with this quote before we talk about value. Because we've talked a lot about sales. We've talked a lot about data. And the only thing I found out right now is I'm cool because I'm always late. And everyone thought that was just rude. So thank you, Ari. I appreciate that because now I know. And the other question I have is, how in the world wasn't Joe on The Sopranos? I mean, he's from New York. What the hell? I mean, I thought you were a good actor. Evidently not. So nonetheless, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with this quote. Uh, you know, the brave do not live forever, but the cautious do not live at all. The brave do not live forever, and the cautious do not live at all. And I want you to think about that for a second as it relates to business. Now, I'll tell you, the guy who said that was Richard Branson, who is crazy. I mean, he's gone across the ocean in a balloon. He's gone into space. He's done a lot of different things. But if you think about that from a business perspective and a sales perspective, how many people, especially in sales, live their lives in a cautious nature? I don't want to lose this account. I don't want to challenge this account. I don't want to provide information that may, you know, give my competitor advantage. We've got some weaknesses, so I'm not going to talk about those. And if nothing else, what we've hopefully learned over the last day and a half, and really the last two years, is cautiousness, vulnerability, and all those things are kind of out the window. I mean, think about what seems like a decade ago, April of 2020, May of 2020, if you were interacting with your team or customers or anyone, what was the number one thing that drove them? Fear of the unknown, 